back at y'all with another video. Damn, Tio. <laughs> so did y'all catch that? That was some crazy shit. Oh, um, man, I don't know what to say. You know, uh, honestly, I thought uh, Tio was going to go in there, handle his business. Um, when he came out strong the first round, I wasn't surprised. I knew he was going to do that. You know what I mean? Um, but, man. And you know what I mean? Um, I'm Devin Haney all the way, but the whole, the whole thing about it was in this fight, I was going for T.O. Um, got a lot of love for Tio Fimo. Hell of a fighter. But, you know, um, he, he got he got outclassed in this fight. That's just that's just what it is. Um, I seen, um, I'm not sure what page it was, uh, posted a clip of Cambosos, uh, something he said at the press conference before the fight about hunger and you know that's crazy um it's kind of ironic because it came into fruition he was just more hungrier um he outclassed Tiffimo the whole fight um his, his his feet movement was on point he was circling the ring cutting off the ring for Tiffimo same thing basically doing the same thing Tiffimo did to uh Lomachenko um, and, um, he just came with a really good game plan. You know, every time T.O. came in with a combo, um, and both just came back with one and he, he, he knows he's not as powerful as Tiafimo, but, uh, he showed that he's quicker. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> he's definitely quicker. Um, and it looked like, you know, with everything that went on with this fight as many times as it got, um. Rescheduled. It looked like you know, uh, I, I I'm not gonna say Tiafimo, you know, but Camposos looked like um, he struggled making weight, or you know, he just didn't look 100. percent You know, I've seen a couple of his other fights. You know, he he just this fight he didn't look 100. percent But you know, his heart was there, um, his skills were there, he was uh, at his best, um, and he had a game plan. Him and his team they executed their game plan the way they should have. Um, he was patient, um, you know, he didn't, he didn't rush in until the right times, um, he was timing T.O. pretty good, so, you know, uh, nothing but respect for, uh, Kim Postos Jr. and what he did tonight, um, shout out to, uh, Tia Fimo and, uh, Tia Fimo, um, uh, Lopez Sr., um, for letting Tia Fimo go out on his shield, he went out like a dog. He went out like we knew he would, um, and he proved himself. You know, he's, he proved that he's a dog, you know, going forward. You know, an L is an L, but going forward, you know, opponents know that he will go deep, 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 deep. You know what I mean? He would go in deep waters um, behind his name, behind his title. So that was good to see, you know, um, Tiffy Mo in deep waters. I, I, this, this personally, this was probably – the only the second time I've seen him in deep waters, but um he he did his thing, man, but you know, um Kambosos was hungry. Um, not much, you know, he can do at this point, but just stay hungry, get back in the gym, um, come up with a new game plan, talk to Bob, you know what I mean, and, and see what they can do. I know Bob over there rubbing his hand together is like Birdman right now. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, as disappointed as he he probably is in this loss, I mean, you know, he's the promoter, so it opens up their opportunities no matter what. So, but at the same time, you know, um, I hope, you know, they can get him something good on the next one. Um, he deserves it. He went out like a dog. Um, hopefully if politics aren't, you know, too prevalent in the decision for his next matchup. Because um, I'm sure, you know, I mean, fans know Tia Fimo, man. He's going to be hungry. You know, him and his pops are going to try to get something on the first flight smoking. You know what I mean? They're gonna, you know what I mean? To let the world know that he's still he's still Tio and, you know, um, it was what it was. So, you know, hopefully he can, you know, get Lomachenko on the next one. Um, and, um, you know, Kambosos can maybe – handle business with Devin Haney um, or Tank. Granted, uh, they win their fights coming up um, beginning of next month. You know, hypothetically speaking, you know, if they do uh, win those fights. But, you know, 
and in boxing you don't like to get too far ahead, so I'm gonna leave that alone. But you know, it 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 it'll be interesting to see what Bob decides to do. You know, we might even you know, I'm I'm looking forward to maybe even we can get a we can uh get a Roly Piafimo fight. That'll be nice. You know what I mean? Maybe maybe you know what I mean? They both you know. You know, one and the same. You know, they train together, they spar together, be in each other camp. You know what I mean? So that'd be nice. You know, shout out Ken Bozo Jr. again. Um, shout out Tia Fimo. You know, he still went out like a warrior in my eye. Tough loss, but, you know, it's only going to make him better. And, you know, the type of dog he is in the ring, you know, I think I think it's something that he, he probably needed. Probably needed it, you know, especially while he's young. Um, you know, I think, I think, you know, the critics and the politics and the numbers, you know, I think everybody wants to be undefeated. But at the same time, you know, um, all the all the young kings right now, they're still young, man. So a little L like this, Kid Fimo will be all right. He'll be all right. You know what I mean? Um, wish him the best. Like I said, I'd like to see him in Roly. We'll see. But uh, damn, big upset. Damn.